Oh, hang on. Here we go. Hello. Welcome back to uh, the second episode of making a new games room. I'm trying to walk over things. Um, um, if you've uh, followed me on Twitter, you'll notice that I bought a shelving unit. Not lying, there it is. Um, you'll also know that I filled it up and I needed to buy a second shelving unit. So I did. Uh, there's that. Told you. Um, that one's not full, as you can see. That's full too. So I need a third one. The room is a lot more messier than the last episode. Because this is the uh, process of emptying boxes and tidying things up. I, uh, I finished doing the Sega Saturn collection. I finished putting them off, but then I found uh, some more stuff. I'm going to elaborate on that a bit more. Let's get over here. Ooh, things. Ooh, DS games. Uh, so this is uh, measuring where the new shelf is going to go. It will fit C. Proof that it will fit. Uh, that doesn't... Uh, we'll get rid of that telephone line. It can go out the way. Um, right. Let's go over here and take a look. I've already filmed this video once, but uh, my phone ran out of space. I'm recording on my phone because I'm ultra lazy and I've got nothing to edit it on because I do not have my computer. That's why the videos are so shoddy and shaky and crap. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I did. I finished putting the Saturn games up a couple of days ago, I think, or yesterday, or whenever the day was. Um, and then as I was sorting out the Dreamcast games, or oh, the PlayStation games, or one of the two, probably PlayStation, um, I found two more... Sega Saturn games 2, found them 1, 2. It was Athlete Kings and uh, Winter Heat. Not particularly interesting games, but anyway, the interesting thing was they were just too big to fit. Because these old, these uh, Sega Ages uh, and other Sega Saturn games CD, um, dual case CD ones, didn't fit with everything. So uh, I had to make a compromise and move that piece of shit out of there. Because I will never play those fucking things. Or like that thing or that or whatever. Um, so that's going to live there because I don't care. Um, that manual just need to be moved. And this CD wallet and that. Um, because of these stupid massive cases. Stupid massive EA cases. Bloody crap they are. Stupid. What a stupid design. Also yellow. Stupid EA. Yellow. And uh, that stupid... No wait. That stupid yellow. That's a uh, virgin which is also stupid. Anyway. Um... Hey, Xbox. So, uh, <clears throat> I've got my Dreamcast stuff. I need to make some more cases for the other Dreamcast games that I have. Um, so once I do that, these this will look all nice and tidy. Uh, I'm starting to replace the, all the black cases with, uh, with the white ones. Uh, if we focus, we can uh, get a better view on this and this sort of stuff. Because what's happened with these, which is really weird, I don't know when or how this has happened, but it looks like all the dark ink has pulled in there. I think it might be the heat in this room when they were, they've were they been sat in this room in boxes. It's definitely not wet. It, it's not got wet or anything. It's just the moisture from the ink. It's like the ink's run. That's happened on a few. Which is really, really annoying. They're, they're the ones that I printed myself. I dropped that. I bloody did. I bloody dropped that, I did. I didn't do that in the first take. Uh, we'll sort that out after. I'll sort that out after. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. Don't panic. This will be all lined back up. Don't worry. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. Probably porn. Uh, that's annoying because it's a uh, custom uh, yeah, end bit spine with the white thing. Which Because it's American. It's all the European ones are uniform. It's very nice uniform. Even, ooh, even the platinum ones are uniform somewhat. It's very nice. I like it, uniform. And then they got rid of the uniformity, which is very annoying. Um, GameCube. Got my uh, currently very small um, Master System collection down there. Used to be bigger. Sold them all. I don't really play the Master System. Uh, yeah. So, uh, if we step over here, <coughs> all this mess. All that paint and stuff. Uh, yeah. That was a test of these new things here. They don't leave residue, unlike Blue Tack. Mmm, copyright. Uh, so yeah. Third shelf. Um, yeah. That's an update. There we go. Uh, yeah, not much to say really, other than that's what I've been doing. You can follow me on Twitter at Razor792. 
and I post a bit more on what I'm doing and stuff like that. Um, once I get my PC, I can get back into things, get back into making those darn Dreamcast cases. That's annoying me now, I need to put that back in. Well, I can't see it. There it is! Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode.